it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be uh, doing some work on my map. I currently have it opening right now. Um, I'll start off by showing you guys some stuff for it uh, that I'm working on. Um, show you a couple of the buildings, some new stuff, that kind of thing. Uh, so we'll start off here. We have the uh, main farmhouse. <clears throat> uh, this is a SketchUp model that I found. And I've been working on redoing it, uh, separating all the pieces and stuff right now. And then I'll be uh, AO texturing everything and all that. Um, let's get this thing to load up. There we go. So here you can see, you know, we have the pieces. Or, you know, like this is the main house body, I guess I'll call it. Uh, so you can see we got the kitchen here and stuff right now. Uh, but I have a whole bunch of the stuff separated, so we'll just get all this open back up. So, actually, we'll just go through the pieces individually, I think. So here we have the, uh, concrete. So, you know, here is where the garage would go. Uh, we can actually leave the house itself up. Uh, so you can see here's the garage, and this right here is the porch. Uh, we'll have a concrete porch. Uh, we got the front door right here. Uh, it does have a screen door on it as well. Um, in here we have the garage counter with the it'll have a nice countertop. You can see we got rid of the countertop and there's the sink. There goes the uh, counters. Um, actually, let's call this cabinets. So then we got the, uh, we can get rid of that. We got the countertop and then the sink. Uh, here we have the garage doors. You can see them there. Here we have the meter in the back here. Uh, we got the patio door on the back here. We got all the porch lights. Got the roof right there. I think I actually need to separate some more off of this. Yeah, I need to get a couple more pieces off of that. So that way I can get all the siding matched up. Um, here we have the washer and dryer. Yep. Uh, where are we? There we go. <laughs> Here we have the washer and dryer. Uh, then we got all the window frames here. And we got all the windows themselves. Uh, so the screen door, you know, that's just going to be a glass door. We got all the wooden doors. We got the wooden porch, and then we got the wooden shutters. So yeah, still some, still quite a bit of work left to do on it, but uh, it's getting there. There we go, the map's finally loaded. Uh, currently encoding, exporting uh, the Clover Creek video from yesterday. this so there's nothing in the textures yet I still uh, won't have that for a while uh, news or any buildings uh, we got all the building a uh, bunch of the objects from the video where I was downverting stuff from 17 here we got a uh, livestock sale barn done by uh, I think it's CBJ Modding or something like that, or CB Modding. Um, these guys do a lot of buildings, a lot of very nice buildings. And here we got a livestock auction building. So that'll go on the map uh, just for looks. You know, 
my map won't be having cattle on it. I did think about adding beef and stuff to it, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm just going to have the option so that you can sell your bales and stuff. Uh, and then here, here we have a uh, Quonset that Sirius Mods uh, sent to me. <clears throat> Uh, very very well done building uh, this will be f in a lot of places uh, I'm scrap I scrapped the uh, elevator Quonset I'm just gonna take this and enlarge uh, this piece here the body so we'll go like maybe two or something and then we'll just slide it back and bring it up to match Bring it up to match again. And then this thing will have to enlarge as well. So yeah, I'll have to, you know, mess with it obviously and get it uh get everything set up you know the way it should but uh in the end it'll all be perfect um the only th different thing that'll be different about this one is it does not have a door on the back end but uh that's all right it just means a lot more backing equipment and stuff so i got the walk through door here uh i'm going to try and figure out how to get doors animated uh, somebody told me of a way, a possible way to do it, so uh, I'm going to try it out, and hopefully it'll work. So I'll update you guys on the map here. Mm, I don't think there's anything in town. Uh, I got all of the gravel roads changed uh, to be smaller, but I have to do it again and make them uh, even smaller. Or all the section lines, not gravel roads. Um, so we got a Quonset here. This one I might actually use for the elevator Quonset. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, then we got a whole bunch of buildings here. I uh, really haven't done a whole lot. But what I did do... Uh, so we got dirt around the bins here. And then uh, I put some trees up here. And then I changed the bale stack here. I made it so that it's, rather than being a huge stack, you know, bunch of huge stacks, I just put two shorter stacks, and then we got the trigger right there. I actually need to move that out some, just so that it will, um, that way we can drive up, buy it, and sell our bales. And then I added a couple of silage pits, so we got that. Uh, and I'm going to move these doors here over close off this shed and then I'll add some doors to that shed too in the future and then uh, all these sheds will be closed off so I am going to change uh, a bit on the map uh, in terms of the main farm I'm gonna add some different buildings and then I'm also going to um, you know change where stuff is just a little bit um, it'll still be pretty pretty close to the real thing just I'll have you know like the quantity of serious mods is on there uh, the house that I showed you guys will be on there and then I'm gonna add probably this red shed here but I want to get the doors animated first but, you know, I'm going to change some things, but most of it's still going to be the same for this map. But uh, there will be a few differences. And then... Um, and then I've been working on the power lines here. So we'll just continue doing that. Uh, this video won't be the full... 30 minutes I don't think we'll see what happens but um, I don't think it'll be the full 30 
But like I said, we'll just see what happens, I guess. And we'll go from there. So we can actually slide that back just a little bit. Oops. I copied the wrong files. Or the wrong XYZs. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Oh, that's why. Okay, uh, well, let's just check it over. Everything should be perfect. So for whatever reason, now it's been taking a lot longer to duplicate stuff and whatnot. I don't know why. And now that I'm recording, it's taking even longer. But... Yeah, I don't know why. Not sure why it's taking so much longer, but it is. So we can slide this back a little bit, can't we? Uh, I also need to rotate this that way though. Uh, I always hate doing this because it's so touchy. Gets annoying to do. And all three, you know, the X, the Y, and the Z all change. So I always can't just, uh, do little by little with it. Come on. Okay, now we can slide it back a little bit. That should be good. So let's try and get this thing up a little bit. Just want a little bit. See if doing this with the mouse pad will work better. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. It's got to go that way just a little bit as well. I'm really not too worried about these being like absolutely perfect because I'm not going to really see them a whole lot because they'll be, you know, way up in the air. So if they're a little off, I'm not too worried about it because, like I said, you just won't see them really. I think what I'm going to do is we'll go 90, 0, wait no, 90, 90, 90, except those all need to be negative, don't they? Well, except for that one. And I don't think, yes, that one does. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just get all of these set straight. Uh, 
There we go. It's pretty much straight for a ways here now anyways, so... Yeah, then about by the time it starts curving again, we can pretty much, well, maybe not quite, but I won't have to do much with the curves because then eventually it'll just kind of go off the map. I think we can actually, let's enlarge these a little bit. We'll go to five, I think. Enlarge the wires, I mean. Let's just see how that looks. Yeah, that's too long. Four will, four will do it. Then we'll have to deal with uh, the curves even less because there will be a lot less, uh, you know, the things will be a lot farther apart. Perfect. So now we have like two curves to deal with instead of having like four, three or four of them. Which really when you think about it, it's not, you know... It's not that much different, but but it actually is. So so we'll just line these up and see where we're at. Okay, so we gotta go over a little ways. There we go. Okay, now let's just try turning this whole thing. So let's we'll get this one lined up, and then we'll adjust the other ones. Oops, five, two. Two point six, there we go. So now I think all that we'll have to do is just enlarge these ones here a little bit. Always want to make these things uh, even. All the X Y Zs here with these wires. Otherwise, it uh, <clears throat> otherwise it'll look goofy. Oops. Three Perfect. So now we can go put all these back to four. Um, I 
Actually, let's shorten these just a little bit because otherwise we'll be uh, right on the road. Whoops. Okay, so now we can get these things lined up. Okay, and last power line. Of the large ones, anyways. We still have all the small guys to do, but... Those I won't be doing until after... Those will be like one of the last few things I do. If not the last thing I do. Uh, in Giants Editor, anyways. I mean, the last things I'll do will be like adding chop straw and soil mod and crop textures and crops and whatever. Alright, we got the power line finished. That's a lot of power lines. But in the end, all of it is worth it. So now, I think we can work on our uh, gravel roads here. So I guess we'll just have to pick one and go with it. I guess we'll start with this worst, the worst one of them all first. Because this is the, uh, <clears throat> one with all of the weirdness to it. This road definitely is not the easiest to work with because of how weird it is. Okay, now we can go back to a square and then Cut this down to size. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. I want to be in that mode and do that. 
and that set a subtract. Now we'll get set up for this. And then, uh, so we reach the other end, this section line, section line will be done. And we'll be on to the next one. And I guess in reality, section lines aren't perfect anyways, so... Alright, that's that one done. Now we'll move on to the next one. Oh, man. Uh, and actually, I think we'll uh, save that for the next uh, video on this, or for another time anyways. Uh, I'm going to go work on what I said I was going to do yesterday, uh, work on testing out beef and pigs uh, on Clover Creek. So... Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.